Catch. 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 Got it. I got it. Catch. Catch. Good job. Catch. You <gasps> missed. Catch. Good catch. Got it. I get it. I get it. Catch. You missed. Catch. You missed. Catch. You missed. Catch. You get it. You missed. I get your nose. I get your nose. Ah, get your nose. I get your nose. He thinks he's holding my hand down. Huh? But I can do it again. <laughs> okay, come on. Up. Up. Sit. Good boy. Hey, good morning. There is some puppy love this morning. <laughs> he doesn't play too much, but he does still like to play. So I thought I would just share that with you a little bit. That's something to brighten up the morning. I wanted to do a little teeny video. I want to do an update on the um, people I have signed up to do my end of the year. My end of the year holiday <laughs> exchanges. Um, there's three of them. And yes, I've heard, I've heard people talking out there. And it really makes me happy because I have three new players. <laughs> yes, we have three people that you guys have turned on to this. Um, fun and challenge and um i love it i have um there's people watching lisa and zinnia that are coming over and wanting to play the games because you guys make it sound so good okay i have to um i have to put up another video this morning about my challenges at the end of the month so i can um, let you guys know who's in it. So if you wanted to be in it, because there's people in here that aren't, and I don't know if you're too busy in the end of the year, or if you, I don't want to put somebody in here like I usually do that didn't contact me because it's getting busy, busy, busy. Now that person I will probably email to see because they usually want to play, but let, okay, let me go over the list again. And if you don't hear your name, Get a hold of me today because uh, I'm going to work. It's Monday. Go, get a hold of me today. If mo Mostly for the November Mystery Yarn Challenge, okay? Now, just remember, I heard a lot of people say they're too busy to play. Well, you don't have to make a blanket. You don't have to make a thousand yards of something. You can make stuff for gifts, for teachers, for people you go to the doctor. You could do little ornaments. You could do little things that are fast with the yarn you get from the challenge. And in the November challenge, don't worry about using it all in one project. Because this is like the last one I'm doing of the year. And if you want to use this yarn to make some gifts, you can make them. Um, it's like uh, 3.30 in the morning. It's Monday. I always try to go in a little bit early on Mondays because um, we usually have a little extra 
And sometimes if somebody else isn't feeling good, we have to help. We, we do go and help them out. So, okay, I have, I'm going to go through the names and what they're going to play in. Some people are doing more than one. I'm playing probably in all three because, you know, that gives me a chance to gift one of my projects. Um, okay, Wanda's going to be in November, Mystery Yarn Challenge. Zinnia is going to be in the Mystery Yarn Challenge and the Secret Santa. Roxanne is going to be in, I'll just say November. Roxanne for November and the card swap. Cecilia M is going to be in all three of them. Our new player, Tara, is going to be in November and the card swap. Sean is going to be in November. Teresa M, Graham Cracker is going to be in November and the card uh, Secret Santa. Oh, Lori, I have you twice. <laughs> I'm like, why is you on here twice? Is you okay? Let me let me change that. I'm gonna put this up by you. I don't want you getting having to send out two things. Let me put you up here. Oh. <gasps> I finally ran out of ink. Do you guys ever run out of ink on your pens anymore? It looks like there's some in there, but you know, that could just be dyed. I have not run out of ink on a pen for a very long time. Anyway. That... Okay. Back to business. Lori H is going to be in November, the card swap and Secret Santa. Telena is going to be in November. Justine's going to be in the card swap. Naomi's going to be in November and the card swap. Deb M is going to be in November and the card swap. Our new player, Lisa, is going to be in the card swap. Uh, Michelle L is going to be in the November challenge. Mary's going to play the November challenge. Tammy H is going to play the November challenge. Charlena is going to play the November challenge and the card swap. Um, our other new player from coming from Lisa, happy to hook, is Faith. She's going to be in November. Debbie W is going to be in November. Becky's going to be in November, the card swap, and Secret Santa, which means we're going to get one of them cool things she made. Kaylee's going to be in November. And I'm, didn't I just say I'm probably going to be in all three? Yeah, okay. So I have, so if you're not sure if you wanted to do the um, card or the ornament swap just on its own, let me tell you how many people there are so you know how many cards you might have to send out. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right now there's only 11. So that's not too bad. It's either a postcard, a greeting card, or an ornament. And it's any medium of ornament, any kind of art. You don't have to crochet something. You can do a paper art. You can do a drawing and send it to somebody uh, as an ornament, you know, uh, paper. Some people do, um, like you do scrapbooking, you put together paper things, you can do a, there's so many different kinds of crafts. Um, so yeah, you could do an ornament in any kind of craft medium you want. I'm not gonna limit you on this one because I know we're all busy and maybe you're doing something already for somebody else in your life add a few add another dozen and send them out um and then the secret santa a little more information on that people were asking me if it's going to be a secret well you're going to be mailing it so you have to put your information on the package because i would not want that package to get lost and then it never get returned to you that would be devastating for your pro your your things not to get somewhere and then have to get thrown out so i really to to be totally anonymous you wouldn't be able to put your address on the box and i don't want that to happen so it'll be a surprise gift from somebody and the person will know it's from you 
Um, I, I also think that's how I would want it because I want to properly thank that person. So, yeah, it's okay. The person will know who sent it. Um, and you can send it whatever you want. It's like sending out a gift, Christmas gift. But it just needs to have something in it that you made and then whatever else you want to put in it. And it should be crocheted. That was the whole point. Sending out something you crocheted. Because we made tons of stuff this year. And we may have stuff sitting around in tubs that we want to share with somebody else. Okay. That, that was the idea. Okay. Now, if you want to do something different, you can let me know. Or you can, if you have a, an idea that I can put out there. Because I haven't closed that list yet and I haven't closed the Christmas card list yet but I am closing November I'm giving you Monday and then that's it because I got to get those names out so people can start getting their um, packages in the mail I'm going to do another post office video also a postal nut video about mailing dates and such because um, we're getting information in about when to mail things um, because of the, the days that Christmas falls on, stuff like that. You know, every year it changes a little bit. Oh, and this year there's no post office surcharge. The prices will not be going up for mailing. So if anybody charges you more because it's Christmas, they're lying and they're stealing money from you because we're not adding any surcharges to anything in December. All right. Thanks. Bye. Good morning. Email me if you haven't heard your name. Playing the month that you want to play. And um, you'll still have some time Monday after you see this to get me your stuff, okay? Because I, I still got to go to work and that's at least eight hours. And then I, oh yeah, and then I got to go do laundry. And then I'm going over to Smith's to get some water.